Uh, my name is Jamie Ritchie, and I have had, um, th this is my third treatment here, and I was diagnosed with a level uh, L1 injury, and that was back in uh, January, January 31st, 2010. I had um, no movement um, from my L1 level down as far as um, uh, my right leg, I couldn't stand on at all without a brace. If I had a brace on, I could stand on it and I could walk and all with braces um, and, and a more aggressive brace. Since, um, and then, oh, my pain was very strong. Um, my legs, the circulation was worse in my legs, the color, they were very purple. Um, I could not walk on a treadmill. Um, I had a hard time walking on uneven ground, um, basically. I've improved, um, I had like five major things off my very first treatment. Um, which was a year ago, January. I was able to stand on my right leg without a brace um, and walk. And my pain level dropped between a 10 down to a 6. It's controllable. The circulation in my legs, my balance is better. I can um, carry things while walking with the walker. I can transfer something from one counter to the next. Um, I can um, uh, be in my kitchen and hold onto the counter and stand and get out a glass of the cabinet. Um, I can walk on a treadmill and I'm actually able to walk three speeds higher than um, when I first started walking. So uh, I've had great gains there. After my second treatment, I was able to walk even stronger on my right leg. I have better bladder control. I got better bladder control out of the first treatment. Um, and I noticed I didn't really get a whole lot until about two months after the treatment. This, is, this experience has changed my life. Just one, the nerve pain. I'm able to, I, I'm more comfortable driving. Um, I can walk barefoot on my right leg without any um, braces or um, so it's just it's just nice to be able to walk barefoot. I, being able to get on the treadmill that's huge for me. I don't have to drive to a, a, a park or a track and walk on a track. I can get on the treadmill and just and really keep a good pace and keep better tracking of what I'm what my progress is. Um, my being able for my balance um, to be able to stand and take my clothes out of my washing machine and put them in my dryer to standing in the kitchen to being able to take a pan that has water in it and put it in the sink. I was unable to do any of that. I usually had to have, if I were standing, I would have to have help um, transferring, you know, something from one counter to the next. Um, walking on uneven ground is, is big. For, for a life change, just for going, you know, when someone comes up to the house to pick me up, walk into their car, um, to be able to walk into a store. Uh, I can go to the grocery store, walk in, get into a power chair, and do all my grocery shopping there. So get back into the, onto the walker and get back in my car. And so it's, it's made, it's given me more independence, which is very big for me. It's not going to hurt you to try it. It's, it's, um, it's going to hurt you not to try it. If I could suggest anything, I, I would just say as soon as after you're better and your injury where you're not in any more pain and you're able to get to therapy, I would go. And I would go as soon as you can and otherwise you're going to sit back and go, gee, what if I wouldn't have, what could I have gotten? There are a lot of people to talk to. There are people who didn't gain anything. Um, I, I have not spoke with anybody that didn't get any, gain anything off a spinal cord injury. Um, do your homework. 
it's it's worth it and it doesn't hurt it I mean it doesn't hurt me my I, I can feel completely my whole back um, so when I get the um, the injections in my spine the the anesthesiologist is excellent the doctor is excellent um, I will have close to 20 injections in my back and um, I have had no bad experiences but at all with it um, and um, I've had no negative side effects at all. None. I've only had positive side effects. 